So say goodbye to those unsightly facial expressions and hello to flawless facial paralysis. All right, Kaylee, it's been a hot minute since you've pitched some new ideas to me, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've come up with today. Oh, I promise you won't be disappointed. Great. If you don't leave this room feeling extremely self-conscious about your disgusting body, then I haven't done my job. Wonderful, that's what I like to hear. Okay, so aside from the eyes, what facial feature do women want to emphasize the most these days? Well, I suppose it would be the lips. Exactly. So what better way to accentuate that pout than by quadrupling the size of them? You're stunned at how natural they look, I know. And how does one achieve a... Uh... Permanent duck face? Yeah. Well, it involves a very simple procedure in which the doctor stabs the lips several different times in several different areas, pumping them up with as much filler as unnaturally as possible. Uh-huh. So it's a rather painless procedure, as you might imagine. Sure. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to look like a character straight out of Wallace and Gromit? Yeah, it doesn't look at all like they're having an allergic reaction to shellfish or peanuts. And if you thought it looked breathtaking on women, just see how spectacular it looks on men. Well, it's definitely gonna turn some heads. In the best way possible. Uh, why don't you share your next idea? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what is the most annoying thing about being human? Uh, growing old? Well, besides growing old. I don't know. Having emotions! Well, to be more specific, showing emotions. So say goodbye to those unsightly facial expressions and hello to flawless facial paralysis! Thanks to a revolutionary drug called botulinum toxin, or Botox to sound less terrifying, now anyone has the ability to eliminate those hideous facial gestures that make us look repulsively human. Combine this frozen face look with the permanent duck face look and you have yourself one hell of a life blow up doll. Just the look that every woman is aiming for. Yup. Oh. Okay, what's your next idea? All right, so now we're gonna focus our attention on the most complex part of the human body. The brain? No, you silly Billy, the badonkadonk! The donkadonk? You know, the keister! The tushy, the backside cleavage, the sphinctacular, the head haunches, the truffle tunnel, the old dirt road, the thong swallower, the bootyus maximus. Okay, I get the point, just get on with the idea. All right, looking back over the past few decades, the ideal derriere has managed to transform a lot going from long and flat in the 80s to round and perky in the early 2000s. But, no pun intended, <laughs> I've come up with a look that's guaranteed to be all the rage. I call this the shelf butt. Shelf butt? For all those times you don't have a table around to set your drink on, this is the solution right here. This look is also sure to get you all the attention you've always wanted from the best male candidates out there. I bet it would. Speaking of how microscopic your breasts are, this last idea is certain to shake up the beauty industry. For those who desire that full artificial hourglass look, now they have the option to balance out that shelf butt with some big bazookas. Well, that's definitely something. So what do you think of my ideas? Well, Basically, all you've shown me today is a bunch of artificial enhancements only attainable through cosmetic surgery that solely promotes the deterioration of women's self-image. Yep. I think it's genius.